Hi, and welcome to the White Lovers Tasting. Thank you for your interest in support of Prince Michelle Weiner. As we move through this tasting, uh, feel free to pause at any time and then pick back up when you're ready to go. So the first one we're going to see in front of you has a lot of wines, and as such, this is the, the White Lovers wine. We have a number of, of white wines, of course, this one being a little bit of an exception, but it's made like a white wine. Uh, the first one we're going to taste on your list is the Prince Michel Pinot Grigio. And this is made in an Italian style, and by that I mean uh, it's, it's made in light, crisp, a good amount of acidity to it. Uh, it's made like that on purpose. We want this to be a really great food wine. And speaking of food, this is a, a wine that you might enjoy with a chicken piccata, something that has some, some tartness or, or bite as the capers come through in the lemon juice. Shellfish, another great uh, pairing. Also, some of, the, um, some of the softer cheeses, I'm thinking brie, or, or maybe a little bit harder with gruyere. But, um, you know, give it a smell, give it a taste. Really trying to showcase what the grape has. And this is coming to us from vineyards we work with down in the Roanoke area, as well as here in Madison. So, I'm picking up a lot of that nice acidity. The second wine on our listing is our Viognier. Now, you know, as we're going through this, we're changing different varieties. Uh, some of these might be a little bit blended, but the name on the bottle uh, is, is very much the grapes that are on the inside. So this actually is 100% Viognier. Viognier is a grape that uh, it's grown in, in a, a kind of a, a lesser way around the world. Uh, you'll find it growing in the Rhone region of France. Uh, California, they're doing some with Viognier. Uh, Virginia has taken off, really, in the last 20 years. Viognier has become synonymous with Virginia white winemaking. Seems to have found quite a, quite a home in the vineyards. And you can find this wine in many different styles, all the way from, you know, what we have here was a stainless steel. We're trying to really showcase the flavors of the grape. Winemakers may also put this in oak. You may also find this uh, sparkling. I know there's a few wineries here in Virginia that do a sparkling Viognier. So as I'm smelling this, I'm getting uh, a certain amount of acidity like we did with the Pinot Grigio, but it's, it's a little bit more subdued. It's a, it's a much richer style. Of, um, I'm, getting, I'm getting a lot of fruit in the aroma. Flavors like honeysuckle, uh, maybe even some, some pear or some, some really ripe apple. This one also lends itself really well because of the acidity to shellfish. Uh, maybe some of the creamier or, or, or more buttery shellfish like crab or scallops. Also goes really nice with uh, Moroccan or Indian spices. Uh, it, Viognier is kind of known as the red wine lover's white wine. So it's, it's kind of a big wine that can go with a lot of different things. Aged Gouda is a, is a perfect pair with that. All right, our third wine is our Chardonnay, our flagship Chardonnay. This is all stainless steel, and we're, we're sourcing this from vineyards in Nelson County. We grow a little bit here on the property, um, as well as Albemarle. So Prince Michel has, has been working with Chardonnay since the beginning, since the, since the early 80s. Um, love Chardonnay. Chardonnay sometimes gets a bad rap as we move it into other varieties, but it's, it's really the, the, the royal grape in Virginia. More, more Chardonnay grown than other varieties. Ours, at least in this style, you see in, on the list we have two different styles of Chardonnay we're tasting. This first one is lighter. It really plays up the apple pear, maybe a little peach notes there. Um, you know, when I, when I taste this Chardonnay and I'm thinking about food pairing, sushi comes to mind, something that's, that's really fresh, that has just loads of that shellfish characteristic, that umami. Um, even, even simple buttery dishes, uh, sauce, you know, a chicken with, with some, uh, maybe Alfredo or something like that. Okay, so I talked about our rosé. It looks like the rosé is the one outlier here. This is a rosé. It's made from red grapes. 
lot of people think we just take some red wine and some white wine and blend it all together and come up with a pink wine. We're making this very much the same way that you might find uh, in the southern part of France, along the, uh, the Languedoc, along the Mediterranean. The French love their, their dry rosés. So this is, this is on the drier side, it's not bone dry, like let's say Pinot Grigio. Um, depending on the season, we're making this either from uh, Pinot Noir or Merlot. This happens to be Merlot. Uh, so we're, we're really picking up a lot of strawberry and raspberry characteristics. But again, all stainless steel, there's a nice acidity here, it's a great food wine. But there's a fullness in the body that we haven't gotten with these other wines, kind of mouth filling. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of charcuterie board, uh, where it's, you know, different types of um, dried meats as well as cheeses, even, even rosemary flatbread. I mean, this, this is a really versatile style of wine. A lot of people do uh, rosé with their pizza or their salad. Just try, try to stay away from vinaigrette. It's a, it's a tough, tough marriage. Um, our fifth wine is our Mountain View Petit Menzang. Petit Menzang, much like the Viognier, is a grape that's, that's grown in a much lesser extent than perhaps some others. And a lot of people don't know Petit Menzang. Petit Menzang is a grape that comes to us from southwest France. Pyrenee region, high up in the, in the altitude there. And it's, it's a tiny little grape, grows in loose clusters, which makes it great for growing in Virginia. Uh, it is an intense tropical characteristic, a lot of citrus going on here, mango, just a, a wonderful fruit bomb. Some people make this into a dessert wine. We make ours, uh, at least in this style, as dry as we can. We want this to really stand up to, to foods. Rich, robust, I can see this with uh, you know, buttery fish, halibut, uh, chili and sea bass, um, Asian dishes that are based on soy. This is, this is a great, nice, versatile wine with spicier dishes. All right, I talked earlier about our Chardonnay. We did a, a non-oak. This is now our Barrel Select, 100% French oak. Lasts, depending on the vintage and the strength of the, the flavors, it could be 20, 25 months of, of oak aging after the fermentation. What I'm looking for is for it to pick up a really soft, buttery characteristic. I really don't want this to taste like licking an oak barrel. I really, really just want a soft, kind of creamy vanilla. When I smell this, I, I am picking up the vanilla that comes from the, uh, the tannins in the, the white oak. So there's a smokiness along with that butteriness. And, because of that, this really lends itself nicely to um, mushroom dishes. Um, even grilled and smoked cheeses uh, seem, to, seem to kind of marry really well with this. Wild game, some of that, um, that kind of savage flavor that comes from wild game. Um, anything you smoke, anything that comes off the grill, barrel select is going to stand up to that really nicely. Our last wine is Harmony. Now, harmony is, is a word that we, you know, asked our wine club members to come up with what they thought was going to be the greatest word for, essentially a, a, a master blend of lots of different varieties. So in this, we have Viognier, we have Chardonnay, we have Petit Mose, and Traminet. Traminet is a, is a um, relative of Gewürztraminer, so it's got a spiciness to it, almost uh, kind of like orange rind. Uh, because of all the different varieties that are blended in this, it, it really takes on its own personality. It, it, it's kind of a, it, a you know, symbiotic relationship, all of these different varieties coming together to make an even better wine. Um, so anything from shellfish to, to buttery cream sauces, maybe even to, uh, to light pasta dishes with cream. That's a, that's a fun one to make as well. Uh, well, that concludes our tasting. I'd like to encourage all of you to chat with one of our sales associates to find out more details on how you might be able to join one of our wine clubs as we offer club members some really great discounts on these wines. It's been a pleasure. Cheers. <laughs>